Dark Shadows, number 21. BTR date, 7-11-66, air 7 66 take one. My name is Victoria Winters. The early morning mist rises from the sea at the foot of Widow's Hill. The great house sits quietly on its crest, and the events of a shattering night seem almost like a vague memory of a forgotten dream. But it was no dream, and there's no forgetting that a man had almost been killed. Perk faster if you stare at it. I was just thinking. What about the meaning of life? No, death. Well, what do you want? Toast or cereal? Toast, and I'll fix it. You were hired to be a governess in this house, not a cook. What do you mean, death? Have you seen your uncle this morning? No. I haven't seen Uncle Roger since the accident. It wasn't an accident. Vicki, I don't believe that. But it's true. Someone tried to kill him. That's just what my mother said last night. I suppose next thing you'll tell me it was Burke. I didn't say that. All I know is that it happened, and it might happen again. Someone removed this valve thing from Uncle Roger's car while it was still in the garage? That's right. Whoever did it wanted the brakes to fail partway down the hill, and that's just what happened. It's just so hard to believe. Well, it's a fact, Carolyn. You have to face that. Someone tried to kill your uncle, and he may try again. What I mean is, couldn't this thing have, have, have fallen off the car, you know, instead of someone taking it off? still thinking about Burke Devlin, aren't you? I didn't say that. Carolyn, last night I told your uncle I went into the garage. I saw Burke Devlin there with a wrench in his hand. That's right. Now, I didn't see him remove any valve or anything like that. But he was there, and it was right after he asked your uncle to drive into town to meet him. My mother was right. Oh, Vicky, how big a fool can I be arguing with my mother over a man who could... I guess I'm just a lousy judge of character, that's all. Maybe. How can you say maybe? Because I'm not sure myself. Carolyn, I've been up half the night thinking about Devlin and... Do you know what he said to me? He told me to go home, go back to New York, while I still could get out of this mess. You saw Burke last night? Yes. After I told your uncle about seeing him in the garage, we went to his hotel room. Carolyn, all I wanted to do was to, to come up here and, and do a job and maybe find out something. What about Burke? What happened? Well, your uncle accused him of trying to kill him, and he denied it. He said he hadn't touched the car. But how could he deny it? You saw him with the wrench. Well, he said he found that on the front seat of the car. But did Uncle Roger believe him? No. But that's why I stayed up half the night. You see, I did. Oh, Vicky, I hope you're right. Oh, 
is it? Bill Malloy. Isn't it a little early for social calls? It's not social, Burke. Oh, I see. Well, couldn't you have let me finish my breakfast, don't you think? Well, go ahead and finish. Won't bother me. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Malloy. Last time I tried to get up here, I used the house phone. You wouldn't see me. I wasn't going to be turned away this morning. Mr. Malloy. You still manage the Collins uh -huh. fishing fleet and cannery, don't you? Yep. Well, why don't you go to your office and let me eat my breakfast in peace? I'll get there. Finish your breakfast. Then you and I are going to talk. Sounds ominous. If that's what you call attempted murder. Have some coffee. There's plenty left. Nope. Well, that wasn't bad for a lukewarm meal. Now, although I always thought the condemned man got steak and strawberry shortcake. Are you through with the jokes? Yes. Let's get this over with. I had nothing to do with that business about Roger Collins's car. The brakes were tampered with. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. I went over the whole thing last night with Roger. If you want to know anything about it, why don't you ask him? I'm asking you. Why are you so interested? Roger was in the car, not you. Let's get something straight, Burke. Anything that touches that family interests me. Anything. I had nothing to do with You're that You're filled car. with hate, Burke because of something you think that whole family did to you. And you won't be satisfied until you've torn them all apart. You're wrong, Mr. Malloy. All wrong. Come on, don't hand me that business you handed them. The past is over, bygones are bygones and all that malarkey. I don't buy that, Mr. Devlin. Not from you, from them, or anyone. It happens to be true. I'll tell you what's true. The things you said the day you were convicted of manslaughter. That you'd come back here someday and take over everything they own. The house, the fishing fleet, the cannery, everything. I was a kid then. Well, you're no kid now. That's just it. Right now, today, that family means nothing to me. They're just some people I used to know a long time ago, that's all. That's all? Yes. And if that's all you want to know, you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to get dressed. You ever hear of a man named Wilbur Strake? Who? You heard me, Strake. S-T-R-A-K-E. First name, Wilbur. Does he have something? He checked in here, Burke, this hotel, just two weeks before you arrived. So? Checked out again a couple of hours after you registered. He was here for two weeks, Burke, talking to people. Asked him questions. Said he was interested in local real estate. What about him? The thing he didn't say was that he worked for you. He didn't? Nope. Another thing he didn't say was that he wasn't a real estate man. He was a private detective. All right. I'll uh, get dressed and be right back. I'll wait. Good morning, darling. Have you seen Miss Winters? She went up to our room. Is that for her? Yes, from the Boundley home. Special delivery. What could be that important? Well, I think that's Miss Winters' business. See that she gets it, will you? Mother, where's Uncle Roger? He went into town to see the insurance people about his car. Then he's all right. Much better this morning. Mother, did he tell you about last night? I mean, about going to see Burke. Yes, he told me all about it. 
Vicky doesn't think Burke was responsible for what happened to the car. I'm not interested in what Miss Winters thinks. But isn't it just possible that she's right? Oh, there's a letter for you on the table, Miss Winters. Thank you, Mrs. Stoddard. Mother, I don't want to discuss it, Carol. But... Vicky, are you sure Burke was telling the truth? How can I be sure? But you said you believed him. I said I believed him. But I could be wrong. You can't be. Vicky, if Burke is guilty, then so am I. But that's silly. I brought him up here, didn't I? I was the one who brought Burke Devlin to this house. You just can't be wrong about him. You can't. Carolyn, when I was six years old in the foundling home, one of the attendants there played a very cruel trick on me. She told me that my parents were coming to take me home. Well, even then, I knew it wasn't true. But I believed her. You can't imagine how excited I was. A mother and father. Well, nobody had a mother and father. I was something very special. Well, for two weeks, I looked for them. I'm still looking. But this is different. You want my opinion about Devlin to be fact. Well, don't count on it. When I was six years old, I closed my mind. And by doing that, the, the disappointment was much greater. So don't let it happen to you. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Carter. I know my brother phoned you. Your deputy said you were out. I see. Well, what time can you get here? Well, that'll be fine. My brother will be back by then. Very good. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. That was the constable. He's going to be here later this morning. Is Burke going to be arrested? Don't you think he should be? If he's guilty, yes. But Vicky saw him last so night. So did Uncle Roger. Carolyn, I'm no more anxious to persecute an innocent man than you are. But the facts are very clear to me, and so are they to Uncle Roger. I know, Darling, but it... Burke is a very clever man. Perhaps, as you said, he did convince Miss Winters. But your Uncle Roger knows him better than she does. But he could still be wrong. Carolyn, somebody tampered with Uncle Roger's car. If Burke didn't do it, who did? Who else would want to see him dead or injured? I don't know, but... I don't know. You, me, David, Matthew? Or do you think it was Miss Winters? Oh, Mother, that's ridiculous. No more ridiculous than you're trying to defend a man who is obviously responsible. Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Stoddard. I see. Well, if you've already spoken to my brother, there's really nothing more I can add. Police? Well, why would we want to involve the police? It was merely an unfortunate accident. I'm sorry we can't provide you with a better story. You're quite welcome. Goodbye. Reporter. It's Uncle Roger in town. Carolyn, I really do think you should go away for a while. I thought we settled that. That was before this. Darling, you have no idea what it's going to be like. Devlin's going to fight. He's going to drag up everything from the past that he can. And that was just one phone call. There are going to be dozens of them. Dozens. Even if you're right, what harm can come of it? What do we have to hide? Does it matter? Can't you just please me and go away from this mess? Is it Uncle Roger? Is there something I don't know? No, there's nothing, darling. Nothing except the unpleasantness an angry man can create. Mother, you're afraid of something, and it's much more than just this accident. No, 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 that's not true. You talk about digging something up out of the past. Well, what I meant... Carolyn, I remember how difficult it was for you when you went to school and came home crying because the children made fun of you. Carolyn's mother is a witch. I haven't forgotten how you used to sob. I survived. I hated myself for making you suffer. But, Carolyn, this is going to be worse. Burke will see to that. Mother, why should he? And what is there to say? That you haven't been out of the house for 18 years. Everyone knows that. Carolyn, please. Mother, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. 
Besides, if Vicky's hunch is right, Burke isn't causing any trouble. Well, if he isn't, somebody else is. Mrs. Stoddard, I think you ought to read this letter. <laughs> Home, Miss Hopewell. She's the director of services there. Well, Mrs. Stoddard, what do you think? May I read it? You might as well. Have you ever heard of this man before, this Wilbur Strake? No. <laughs> hey, a private eye. What do you know? Yes. Mrs. Stoddard, do you have any idea who, who would have hired this man to ask these questions about me? Unless it has something to do with what you were talking about. What do you mean? Well, Mother thought Bert might try to dig up something about our past. This has nothing to do with that. Well, it sure sounds like it. Listen. Uh, he was anxious to learn the details of your securing your position. She means with us, of course. Why you were hired by the Collins family, who recommended you, and all the rest of it. Whatever that means. What she means is he wanted to know why your mother hired me in particular when she'd never heard of me before. I've already answered that question, haven't I? Yes. You said your, your brother was the one who made the recommendation, but I Miss still Winters, don't... I thought we'd finished with that matter. Maybe you have, Mother, but someone else hasn't. Don't you have any idea who might be this interested in you? I thought your mother might know. Do you think Burke Devlin hired this man? I suppose it's possible. But why would he want to know about me? I can't answer that. I don't know. You think Devlin was responsible for the car accident, don't you? Yes. Well, then you must also think that the only reason he came back here was to harm your brother and you. Yes. Well, then, it's logical that the only reason he'd hire someone to make these inquiries would be if the results would be harmful to you. Doesn't that make sense? Miss Winters. Are you asking me whether or not I'm trying to hide something about you and your past? Yes. The answer is no. But then why could... Why I'm you sorry, go home? I don't know. Oh, face it, Vicky. You're not even sure Burke hired this Wilbur Strake. Where did you learn about this uh, man, Strake, Mr. Malloy? Sister of a man who works at the cannery. She's the chambermaid here. <laughs> well, I'm certainly glad I keep my briefcase locked. Are you still trying to tell me you didn't come back to town because of Roger Collins? Yes. Burke, nobody hires a private detective to tell him if the weather's going to be good or the hotel rooms are comfortable. No, but they do hire him for business reasons. Oh, come off it. Bill, I'm a businessman. I've used straight dozens of times. Anytime I'm interested in a new area of investments, I have him uh, checking out. Ah. Believe it. Don't believe it. It's a fact. When I decided to come up to Collins Port, I thought I'd, well, look around and see if I could make a little money on the trip. There's a cannery for sale over in Logan's Port. You've heard about that, haven't you? Sure, I heard about it. Well, I thought I'd look into that. But there's a lot more to buying a, a, a business than looking at the uh, profit and sale sheets. There's the attitude of the people in the community. That's Strake's job. Well, he sure asked a lot of questions about the Collins family. Well, they, uh, they own a cannery, don't they? And uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I have some papers to look over. You're a pretty smooth talker, Burke. Always were. I'm telling you the truth. You can believe it or not. That's your choice. Come up and see me again, Mr. Malloy. I may do that. Hello, I want to put a call into New York City, yes. Lexington 20098. And hurry it up, will you? It's important. Hello. 
Yes, yes, Operator. Right. Hello, Bronson. This is Burke Devlin. Yeah, I'm just fine. Look, Bronson, I want you to catch the first plane up to Bangor tonight. Yes. The Bangor Airport. Call me from the Bangor Airport when you get there, okay? Things are starting to happen. And I, uh, I want to get moving fast. <laughs> Where the Action Is made its debut one year ago with top recording stars performing Where the Fun Is. Come along for a real good time next here on ABC. Dark Shadows is a Dan Curtis production. <laughs>